In terms of strategy, Harvard Business School is the, is, is the leading uh, business school in the world uh, based on the pioneer research of Professor Michael Porter. Uh, in, in, in the 80s he wrote the book on competitive strategy, he identified what is known as the five forces of competitive strategy and the <coughs> gentleman we brought out to South Africa is someone who's building on that research, uh, Professor Ramon Casadesis. Uh, he's also in, a specialist in competitive strategy, so he built on that five forces and kind of related it to an industry and how industry can still adopt that, those five forces, identify them as what needs to be managed by leaders when executing strategy. So he went through the entire exercise telling us how organizations from the circus in, in, in Montreal to the, to the major airlines have adopted this four strategy, four, five forces strategy of Michael Porter and helped in executing and, and leading successful businesses. Uh, the current buzzword is blue, blue, blue ocean strategy. So what he talks about is that when, 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 one, when one looks at the external environment, one has to manage these five forces. And of course, one of them is competitors and one of them is you know, the availability of substitute products. He says that most businesses are playing around the five forces. And the, the organizations that are going to succeed in the future are those that play away from the five forces. And what he refers to as, I did come up with blue ocean strategies. And means they find themselves a niche rather than you know, working among competition and substitutes and th those kind of things. So the, 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 the success story for the 21st century is to become a blue ocean strategy organization, but complacency shouldn't set in because no sooner you're out there, your competitors will find out what was your strategy that helped you get there and they will come and end up there and you'll end up in the red ocean strategy which is the normal playing field. One of the strategies we took uh, uh, as the leadership is that we need to partner with the leading business schools in the world and we've also already have a relationship with MIT and now this is not a relationship with Harvard per se, it's a relationship with a professor from Harvard, I need to emphasize that. You know, we don't have a collaboration agreement with Harvard. Uh, we have a relationship with, with Professor Ramon. So we'll be identifying people from Stanford and the, the, the top, top institution business schools in the world and identifying people like Dr. Cassidis, Professor Casadiz and bring them down here so that our market gets to know that we are in that field as well. We are playing that field. It is for us, uh, you know, quite an accolade we have brought him down here. It was quite a journey to get him down here. These elements that we are introducing now will make our MBA, we're exposing our students to the best in the world. And of course, we're exposing them to, you know, they, they, in the normal lecture, they, 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 they kind of get exposed to the, the theory and the models. But here now, when we talk about my, Professor Michael Porter, his theories are studied the world over. But here's someone now coming with first-hand knowledge and, and, and showing how that theory can be translated into practice. And this is, I think this is the competitive edge that our students will have, our graduates will have going out there and, and competing with equally, I mean, with graduates from the other institutions, equally good institutions. So, you know, Regenesis is a private institution. Uh, we are competing with the best in the country as well. And we want to up our rankings. And uh, these are some of the things we have, may face other strategies in the pipeline, but this is just one of them. It's real investment to bring people like this. It's not cheap exercise, I can tell you that, but it's not just a marketing exercise. For us, it's value add, because we, 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 we want even, we brought in industry people as well, and we have given them many of them complimentary seats as well, to come in here and, and, and to participate and get the opportunity.